Hey guys, welcome back. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. And this is Like It, and this is the hubby's Jeremy. Hello. So today we are going to tell you six binge worthy TV shows on Netflix. We have binge watch every one of these guys. Right after episode after episode. So let's get started. Number one. The League. The League is friends that play fantasy football together. They have a fantasy football league that they are very, very hardcore about. It's a very funny show. I mean, it's not it's not kid-friendly. It's very adult. Watch like, this after your kids go to bed. Yeah. After dark would be the time to watch it. Number, number two is SOA, Son of Anarchy. It is my favorite show of all time. This makes the second time I've actually watched it, and I can start over and watch it again. It is about Jax Taylor. He is in this motorcycle gang, and he is just a bad honey, as you can say. Um... Like I said, he's in this motorcycle gang, and they go against other gangs, and there's a lot of drama, there's a lot of heartache, you will laugh, you will cry, it's just a great show. From episode one, you will be hooked. Look. Number three. Breaking Bad. Breaking Bad is about my man, Walter White, a.k.a. Heisenberg. Heisenberg. And his little friend Jesse, they make meth. Also, a another adult show, After Hours. Um, it's really entertaining. Um, Walter White is a School chemistry teacher. teacher. He's a genius with stuff I have nothing to know about. <laughs> but I mean, he's really, really smart. Um, who knows how to put battery acid into rat poison and make it blue. <laughs> no idea. That's how you make meth. I do not know about meth. But anywho, it's a great show. Um, I mean, it's prob it's my favorite show. It's up there with this away. It's really good. I mean, you should look at it, check it out. That's another show. You will laugh. You will cry. It is. It throws you some loops. So. Yeah. There is a turn in every season. There is a just a. Walter White is the luckiest man on the face of the planet. Yes. Luckiest. So guys, if you've never watched it, go watch it. Go watch it. Number four is PPL. Pretty Little Liars, guys, and it <laughs> is. Awesome. It's about these four. Well, they start out as four, but they turn into five best friends. Spoiler! Ooh! She spoiled it for you. They are. Or is there five? Yeah. It starts out as four best friends, and they get these text messages from A, and they're battling to try to figure out what exactly is going on and who A is, and a lot of twists and turns in this. I promise you guys, you will not see the ending coming. Don't even try to guess it because you won't. You have no idea. Like, I, I love... I love Pretty Little Liars. I'm not man enough to admit it. It is a great show. You will it's be great hooked. fashion in it. It's got great fashion. No, you idea. will be hooked, guys. So. I just wish I would have made the person who was a, a little bit more creative... Like True. No, like really, A, go for something harder like Q. A's first letter off, but go a little deeper. Go to Q. L. I mean. Guys, go watch PPL. PPL. Number, what are we on? Five. Dexter. Dexter is the man. Dexter is a serial killer, which sounds bad, but he only kills people. Who do bad things. And he is a blood splatter analyst for the 
Well, Miami is something. We've been a long time since we've watched it. He likes coffee. I like coffee. I'm not a serial killer, though. <laughs> I don't I like, not. I don't like blood. But anywho, Dexter is a really good show that gets you going from episode one. You're like, this guy's living a double life. Whoa, this is awesome. And like the first season is epic. It like is. epic. And it just gets better from there on out. I like Dexter a lot. I woke up at three thirty every morning before work, got ready for work, watched the hour of Dexter, and got to work before five thirty. Obsessed. We lost a lot of sleep when it came to binge watching Dexter. Dexter was terrible. Worst show by far. Yeah. But we've lost more sleep. Ever. But we did get some good cuddles. Oh. That's yeah. always a plus. My foot is asleep. <laughs> so, number six. Last but certainly not least. is Secret <sighs> Life of an American Teenager. And this show hits home because we were teen parents. It's about this girl. She gets pregnant at 15. And it just shows you the struggles that you have to go through as a teenager. And there's a lot of twists and turns. Again, you will laugh and cry. Those are my favorite shows. I love to laugh. I love to cry. Just That's what I don't understand about I love to be they... mixed up. I don't want to laugh at everything. I don't want I to don't, cry about I everything. See, I don't get that, guys. Women, answer this for me. You love watching TV that makes you cry. You love watching dramas on TV. You love when a guy is like crazy on TV. But when I lose the remote and I ask you where it's at, and you're like, I kill you. But you can watch. You can watch like two guys fight over a girl on TV and be totally satisfied, or a girl who is eleven have a baby, put it up for adoption, three years later find a baby, fall in love. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not a woman. Hey. Let's be honest right here, because as I said, we keep it real up in here. He loves, 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 guys, chick flick movies. I do. Don't let him fool you. He loves life. I love them, but I don't understand how women can be like, I hate drama. I don't like to cry. But they love watching stuff that makes them feel drama and makes them cry. I love anything sweet. I cry when somebody gets married. I cry when somebody has a baby. I just, I do. I, I've been there. I, I know how it when feels. When babies are born, I throw up. I don't like watching babies born. Like my babies, that's cute. That's adorable. Hey, my baby's coming in the world. But, I know how Jane Doe's baby. I love to see anything to do with babies. Anything to do with babies, weddings, love stories. I just love it. And Secret Life of American Teenager has all of those combined. So, of course, that is my favorite one of my favorite shows that I highly recommend you watch them. Again, it's not inappropriate, but it's not for small children. I didn't like it. I didn't watch it. I watched like five episodes. I slept. <laughs> only Secret Life of Bees I know is the one with Dakota Fanning in it. We're not talking about Secret Life of Bees. We're talking about Secret Life of American Teenager. Oh, whoops. My bad. Do you see what I go through? Oh, my foot's so sleep. Talking about Secret Life of American Teenager. Just Secret Life of Bees. <gasps> but yes, guys, to sum it up, those are our six Netflix binge worthy movies. Go watch them. Give them a try. So we're going to recap it. Number one was The League. Number two. When she points at me, I'm supposed to talk. <laughs> we didn't go over that. It was just like, you say something. Number two was SOA. Number three. BB, Breaking Bad. Best show on the planet. Number four was Pretty Little Liars. Number five was. Dexter. And number six was Secret Life of American Teenager. I gotta say, Dexter's so good, we named the cat after it. We did have a cat named Dexter. We, we named the cat Dexter. And he was a very good cat, but he was something orange. happened to him. And he was orange. I don't know. He's a serial killer cat. Just like Dexter on TV. 
But he did drink coffee. He drank milk. <laughs> All right, guys. I hope you guys had fun. We had fun making it. As always, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and happy Netflix from my home to yours. yours. Bye, guys. Bye.